Everyone, we are here with LaPortia, and tell me about this freaking outfit. It's like Janet, Michael, everything. Yeah, I love this outfit. Oh my God, I felt bad in this outfit. So, this I can say this outfit was part of the reason I was able to deliver, because you know, everything gotta be right. It made me feel sexy. Uh, it kind of hid my problem areas a little bit. <laughs> so I, I really like it. I, I told the stylist that uh, Michael Jackson really, really inspires me. Yeah. Uh, and that that's, that's the kind of feel I wanted in this song, just a funky kind of throwback feel. Um, and of course, I love my shoulder pads. I love the regal look, you know, kind of king, queen of pop sort of deal. So. Yeah, I love this outfit. I'm gonna ask him for it. Hopefully. I was gonna say you, you got you got to make sure they let you have it. You're like this isn't gonna for for anyone yeah, better than it fits yeah. me, girl. You better let me take it. So. it yeah, it was custom made for yeah. me. So yeah. Hopefully. Tell me about this key. Where does it open? Do you know? Um, so the key is a giving key, and it's uh, so I I alternate between keys. This one says uh, fearless. Yeah. And the silver one I have says let go. And then I have a cross that says with all, God, all things are possible. So the key is basically me talking uh, inspirational quotes to myself. So um, anytime I look in the mirror, because we have a lot of that before we go out on stage, I just look at the key and, you know, kind of talk to myself and inspire myself a little bit. Now, your vocal style, I mean, you know, if people are fans of old school R&B, new school R&B, they're going to hear those runs. They're going to hear that. Do you ever kind of worry that maybe just general population might not get it? Or do you think, you know, people kind of feeling it? What's kind of been the, re the response? You know, it's, it's, it is it is a worry of mine because uh, I, I try not to, but sometimes I look uh, back on the feedback, you know, of my performances. And some people um, really don't like my voice because it's so big, so that's why I did Diamonds and Halo to try and show the more vulnerable side of me. But at the end of the day, I feel like, you know, I have to be happy with me and what I have. And um, I feel like that's, that's the the good thing about the competition is that everybody kind of has their own audience. You know, n neither one of us sings like each other. Yeah. And so, you know, I feel like uh, they're allowed to have opinions. It's okay. It doesn't make me mad or anything. Uh, sometimes I find myself trying to, like, please, you know, certain people, if they say they want me to tone it down, I'll, I'll find myself doing that. But that's a very dangerous area to be in because at the end of the day, you have to be happy with you and what you do. Um, and you can't change for, for anybody. If you want to change, like I changed my hair, uh, I did it because I wanted to, not because I was pressured. You know, so it's 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 an art to try and keep yourself grounded and not get lost in all of this. So yeah. Lastly, uh, Nick Fradiani, who won last season, we talked to him, and he said you are a vocal beast. What does it feel to know that the winner last year was just giving your praises? Uh, it feels amazing. I'm so honored. I love Nick. He's so fun. He He's cute, too. <laughs> um, and yeah, he won last season. And um, I just to get to get that kind of feedback from him. I was really honored. I was like, yes, I do kind of find myself looking for validation in those, you know, areas like that. So for him to say that made me feel really good.